A month's worth of rain in just eight hours. The deluge burst the banks of multiple rivers in central Venezuela, fueling flooding and triggering landslides. Three cars were coming in whirls. With the instinct to conserve something, my wife immediately took the car out. We ran out with the water up to our waists. That happened within seconds. Massive tree trunks and debris swept down the surrounding mountains, crushing into the town of Tejeras, 67 kilometres southwest of the capital, Caracas. Many homes, businesses and farmland didn't withstand the force of the downpour, and pumps meant to supply drinking water to the community have been carried away too. A disaster zone declared as three days of national mourning for the victims begin. But for many families, the desperate search continues. We need help. Please help rescue people because we do not know if people are buried. I have a missing brother. We need support. It is not only my pain, it is the pain of all the people who are here. The military has been deployed and 1,000 emergency crew have joined the effort. The priority, to locate those still trapped under mud and rocks. I have not slept. I have not eaten because I do not know if my niece is in there or if the river dragged her. You understand what I'm trying to say. Regrettably, to fight against nature, it is a lie, as people say. This is the work of God. The downpour has also caused landslides in other regions. It's just the latest flooding disaster to hit Venezuela in recent weeks. The same La Nina weather system, which is bringing havoc to Australia's east coast, is also doing damage in South America. Cameron Nichols, ABC News.